Right, peace and love, people. ODTV, online dialogue television. We're here in uh, London, in the middle of London, right there, right near Parliament. Bang. I'm here with one of the protesters. I just wanted to find out, why are you here, sir? I'm right here because just to fight against uh, all the corruption that's going on in the world. Right mm -hmm. now, there is no democracy. Mm -hmm. Democracy is completely dead. The 1% are robbing the 99%. Mm -hmm. They're taking everything from the poor in this country. Friends, let's just call them associates. Friends, friends associates. and associates. These associates, he's cutting taxes for the rich while taking money from the poor. Instead uh -huh. of taking money from people who have money, uh -huh. he's taking money from people who don't have any money. Uh -huh. And it's just a complete fucking disgrace. It's uh -huh. an absolute disgrace. And also, uh, what is it? Free Palestine, my friend. Was the atrocities that are happening in Palestine also for that. Uh, Israel has lost all right to ever mention fucking Hitler's name again after what they have just done. For real? For real. They, they cannot mention Hitler's name after what they're doing like, down there. He's just an absolute... I completely agree with every single thing you have said. However, yeah. I just want to ask, how do you think these protests will, will instigate any kind of, or initiate any kind of change amongst the general public? Well, when you look at it, when you even look back in history in America, yeah. it was... Uh, Black Price, everything yeah. that was happening, Malcolm X and yeah. uh, everything like that, all yeah. of it started with protests, it was yeah. with movements, it was people asking for change and demanding change and going out in numbers and in force trying to get that change. And it's things like that that took to abolish the segregation. That, don't get me wrong, there's still racism all over the world, especially uh -huh. in America. It is atrocious what is happening in America now, black young kids that are getting shot down by police officers and everything. But it was the small steps that, like that, the protests and people gathering together and coming as one to say, we demand something different, this is not working, we, we need change. And this is, hopefully, this will have the same effect. And it's proven in history as well. So, like, yourself, in your personal life, because one of my things I've said to people is, like, no one person can change the world. Of course. Everyone has to make change within themselves, within true. their own circles, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So, like, for you yourself personally, like, what, what are you doing within your, your own personal life to try and instigate, initiate change? What kind of groups are you a part of? You know, or, or what activities you participate in? That's the Midnight Mass March, uh, End of Now, went yeah. to them protest, uh, yeah. fighting for the homeless. I forgot what it was called off the top of my head, but it was recent. I went to it. Right, right. And it was things like that. It's movements like that and try and encourage. Obviously, I'll try and help out any way I can if there is any way to help. And have you been meeting like minded people when you've been yes, going to these yes, events? Of course. This is the reason I come here because you get intelligent people that have different views and express their views. And it's good to hear it instead of hearing the same dumb part of my language shit that you get over here from you, kid and all this fascism and all this prejudice and these foreigners are to blame. The, the reason there's no council houses is because of foreigners, which is completely fucking false. The reason there's no council houses is because uh, the right to buy scheme is failing. The reason yeah. it's failing is because people are buying houses because you can buy them after five years and the yeah. government is not taking this money yeah. that all these Polish people, Romanian people, all these people from European countries are coming and they're contributing to the tax and not investing that money to make more houses available. So everything like that, you see, there's a slight deception in yeah. the media. Yeah. There's a slight deception and it's getting people to hate the wrong things instead of knowing the truth. When you come down to these events, you can find the truth, my friend. And what, one, uh, just finally, like for any random person that's watching this video who's from the UK or wherever, whatever part of the world they're from, because the way I look at it is this, you know, whether people say it's conspiracy or not, but you know, the whole sort of uh, new world order, or whatever, the whole point is, is the world. So it doesn't matter what part of the world you're in, there are, there are elites in every part of the world who are trying to uh, uh, gain more and more control every day that passes. Definitely. So any random person that might happen to watch this video, you know, this online world that we're living in now, what few things would you say to, to, to maybe give them a bit of hope or whatever, or give them some, some inspiration or give them some fire in their bellies? This is happening all over the world. You look at, right now, if I probably look on my Facebook, it's happening in Rome, it's happening in Paris, it's happening in Germany, it's happening obviously in the UK, it's happening all over the world. So there are people coming together that are already sort of making this movement happen, and everybody's demanding it. And this is the good, this is the beautiful thing. When you when you know when there's synchronised people all over the world synchronising at one point to mark to demand change, and they're sort of protesting for something, something just, different. Just one last thing. Um, I started my own little tradition on Bonfire Night yeah. because I never liked the idea that the person who was upset with the, with his government yes. or his leadership oh, now i don't i don't agree with you know yeah, necessarily definitely. the violence of course but i do re agree with his sentiment yes. right so guy fawkes uh, he you know he, he he did what he felt was right at that moment in time obviously he got caught yeah. uh, but i've never agreed with the whole oh, routine right? yeah absolutely how are you good good how are you we're doing it
I'll just, we'll just have oh, you're a live streaming, with... are you? No, 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 I'll just have a little interview with my friend here. I'm sorry, No, no, it's all right, it's all right. Now join in, come on, mate. The biggest, the more the merrier, innit? The more the merrier. All right. Come on, they're not just for that, surely. Can, are you allowed to do the peace sign? You're not, Win no, then Winston yeah. Churchill do it though, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. The problem, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, it's but, but that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to promote peace. We don't want war. And we don't want our government to keep spending money on war either. We're trying to promote peace. So it'd be nice to see our leadership and people in our police force who are also promoting peace. No, but you are compared to the general Joe. Even they're cutting you. And you've got to admit there is some serious... Misconception going on here, and some unfair behaviour where the rich are just getting what's the word I'm looking for? Favouritism while they're taking from the poor. They're not taking money from people who have money, but they're taking money from people like me and you who don't necessarily have money. We've got money to live, yes, but on the scale right. to what they're earning. Yeah, you get me? With the inflation, look how expensive everything is, my brother. Absolutely, look absolutely. How expensive, and now they're taking tax credits from single mothers. That is just absolutely disgusting and atrocious. You have to admit, there is something not right in this so called democracy that we live in. Ah, you know what? You've got your right to have a piece of protest, and you know. As long as we remain peaceful. <laughs> That's the element, isn't it, ultimately? Yeah, of course. Yeah, what, yeah. Why would you want it to go and not be peaceful? I understand yeah, of course. A bit of, you know, disrupting, you know, normal business and yeah. like that. Yeah. Absolutely. I, but I think for a lot of people in a lot of frustrating situations, they don't know how to express that. Or at least they feel like the, the um, um, areas they've tried to express it has not been heard or you know their voices have not been heard. So people get more, the frustrations increase. So while our government keep cutting your pension and keep dropping bombs on people's heads, people are getting frustrated because they're also not able to feed their kids. But then my concern is, is if you've got the frustration that you've got all that, why would you want to then get into involved in, in committing criminality? Because unfortunately, our leadership show that to us as examples because they commit leadership, they commit fraud on a massive scale. We already had our financial crash back in 2008, which no top leadership, no leader of any bank went to any jail in any way whatsoever. And that was fraud on a global scale. Was it, was it, Finland? it was Finland that jailed all the bankers and freed the people. And over here, what do we do? We free the Iceland, bankers. Iceland, Iceland that's yep, it. Yep. We, we free the bankers and we jail the poor people. That have, so that so that the example that people see is that their leadership do com corrupt actions. Yeah. Now, I'm not, I'm not justifying a wrong by, with a wrong, but I'm saying that at the same time, that's the example that's being set by the leadership. Yes. Absolutely. 100%. I think 90% 90, 90 of them do. Absolutely. No, of course, of course. Yeah. But can I ask you as a human being, I know right now you've got a uniform on and you, you've got your job face on. I get that, you've got your job hat on. But for you as a human being, do you think that um, over the last, let's say, 10 years... Oh, here we go. Would you say over the last 10 years, things have been moving in a better direction for the general population or in a downward direction for the general population? Just asking you as a human being, one human being to another. Ooh. Sorry, I'm not listening That's to right, no. going on in my head. You're not a politician, are you? They're not giving you the answer, are they? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Do you, would you say in the last 10 years, things have gone up or in terms of what these lot have been doing? It certainly is a balance, and you know, like, and you, I might recognise. Oh. All right, no worries. All right, have a wonderful night. All right, thank you for keeping us safe. Yeah. I hope, I hope your pensions don't get touched. We're fighting for that. We're fighting for that. Yes. Thank you, my brother. That was amazing. No, thank you so much. But ODTV, we got anonymous representing. One love. Jobless.